started from a DM, now she wanna see him. If you wanna link, baby, gotta be the weekend. Just follow me. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to part 28 of Love on the Brain. So clearly we are back at the hospital with Cairo. Work emergency alerting Dr. Banks. Love the sound of that. An extremely sick Sim just stumbled into the waiting room, barely conscious and able to stand. Quickly come to the front reception desk. They need urgent medical attention stat. All right. Okay. I'm guessing this is, ooh, okay. Oh, oh, she's down for real. Okay, let's stop logging samples. Treat, <gasps> our first surgery. Really? Are we ready for this? Are we really ready for this? I don't know if we're ready for this. Yes, we are. <laughs> Cause girl needs a promotion. <gasps> oh my gosh. I have to get a screenshot. This is gonna be her first surgery ever. Oh my goodness. Ooh, too low. <laughs> Gotta get my lovely screenshot in. All right, there we go. Go ahead and treat your lovely patient, ma'am, your very first surgery patient. Or are we not? Uh, <laughs> are we not? Do I need to? Because I said treat with surgery, so. Hmm. It's not. Okay, maybe let me let it play. Maybe she needs to. You're not. Are we treating her? Where is she going, sweetie? Are we treating her? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You're going to the exam bed? I mean, it's it. I got all excited thinking we going straight to surgery. Ma'am, if you don't bring your tail, come here and... Right, like, why? There's no... I can't do anything. Oh my god, I got so excited and don't tell me I can't do anything. Let's do a friendly introduction to her. I mean, we might as well get to know her. Like, I was getting all excited. Don't tell me I can't do it. Because it's not giving me the option. Um. Right, hello? Like, I don't even have the doctor pick, give medical advice. What is going on? Oh, I got so excited for no reason. Are you serious? It's saying... Use social for an object. Right. And she came over here. I was trying to take you to the bed. And I can't do anything. Oh, that's a bit frustrating. I don't even... We didn't treat her, but okay. Like, I don't know what to do. Um, no. Can I not? Yeah, there's nothing for me to do. Can I tell the receptionist something? Excuse me, assistant. Who are we getting money from? But okay, thank you. Like, she's blinking like she's ready to be treated, but there's no patient socials I can do on her. I'm not going to waste any more time. I don't know what the issue is. It is love day if you couldn't tell because of the random confetti um, log sample analysis. And we need to have deal with the patient that we actually were dealing with, which was Brent Hecking. Um, whatever. I was excited for no reason. I don't know what's going on. It glitched out. So disappointing. But we will deal. We will eventually get to a real surgery station. Well, Putin, if you don't go to the bathroom, right, you are extra pregnant. Like, go. <laughs> we don't wasted so much time with that, and we still have not. Ugh. Oh, yes. We need to hurry up and check on her. This log. Okay, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and try to get more than one patient at a time. Let's swap for a sample. Um, uh, discuss general health. Let's do all of the lovely socials that we can do with her. Take temperature. Okay, there we go. 
and get all of the lovelies in. Just go. Oh, she's got the spirally ones. Fun stuff, sweetie. Okay, and then we also need to analyze it. This is. Uh, I'm so disappointed. I got all excited because I was gonna actually start recording soon, but I was like, let me just play a little bit more through the day. Oh, she didn't make it to the bathroom. Why nobody tell you to just stand there without doing anything? Like, I didn't hold you trapped. Ooh, is that decent? Oh, no, we boo. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and do that, and then we will, I guess, take a quick lunch break. I mean, we can't do much. I really wanted to do a surgery. Okay, let me stop being whiny. She'll get there. But I also was looking up the doctor career because I was like, why is she kind of so stuck on this level for so long? Like, we cannot get any patients to that level. And I'm wondering if, like, I need to work on her logic skills some more. But according to the article I found, technically, logic skill really doesn't coincide with the doctor career, which I really thought it did. So if that's the case, I don't know. We're building her logic skill for no reason. But either way, it's still not helping because she's not getting any quicker with this at picking up stuff. I do need to pay attention to the patients more so when she's checking them out, but uh, I don't know why we can't actually get a patient to get to the surgery station. Because once we get our three surgeries in, we just set for the next promotion. Okay, we also need to take a patient's temperature and also diagnose a patient. Okay, let's go ahead and send Brant over to, let's do an x-ray scan on him. All right, and we will not be staying late today because Marcel told us we have to come home on time. He has a lovely date planned for us and he needs us to come home. He understands patients may come in, but unless it's an absolute emergency, you need to come home. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be sending off a lovely little Islet either to the daycare or maybe to grandma's house. She did spend a lovely little bit of time with grandma in the last part, which was so cute. If you did not see, please go ahead and watch that because it was super cute. Kyra has been struggling with trying to get herself promoted in the doctor's career. And even though Marcel is doing help at home, he's busy himself trying to get himself promoted. And with a toddler in that house that they're trying to slowly grow and decorate and everything is a lot going on. So she needed her mommy's help. Mom came over to take um, Isla's attention away from her mom for just a little bit. Just to even get some house chores done, which was a big help to Kyra. So I think she is feeling a little bit better despite having some acne right now. See, she's, she's here with me. She wants to get promoted and give a funny gift. You want to give a funny gift to Marcel? I mean, we could do that. What is a funny gift? I don't know. Some medicine? <laughs> I don't know. No, I think funny gift is like automatically like a fart gas or something like that. We're not trying to do that. On that on love day at least. I would hope not. But you know what? Kyra is a goofball. She may do all of that. It's her thing. Whatever, boo-boo. Okay. A possible ailment. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Gets him over here, but that's not the bed he was in. It's cool. Can we do anything more with her now? Nope, she's just hanging out in the hospital even though she <laughs> needed a surgery. Um, let's actually go ahead and do the other one. Wait, what do we have for him? Compelling. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. He had, I think he had spots. I don't believe he had stripes. Um, I believe he had starry eyes. Come on, let's, we gotta treat one patient. Let's treat him. I believe it was starry eyes. Cross your fingers, please let it be starry eyes. I mean, you looking good, though. I mean, despite you being sick, I feel like you look very well. Where are you going, Kyra? I understand that you're hungry, sweetie, but bring your butt back. Thank you. You're going to have, like, the best dinner when we go out on this date with Marcel. Please and thank you. Bottoms up. All the way down. 
<gasps> Did we? Yay! We cured a patient and the time is almost up. She does need a quick snack though. She is really getting kind of hungry, but um... Okay, we got a patient admitted over here. I feel like it keeps... I'm wondering if it does it matter if we grab someone from the lobby? Yeah, let's go ahead and medical referral, admit patient to exam bed. We may not get to do much with this patient, but we will start working on them. But I've noticed that every time she comes back to the hospital, it's not the same patients. The last time I played the doctor career, it kind of was the same patients. Okay, I guess not. We're not going to admit her to the bed, so let's go ahead and swap samples for her. Uh, swap sample. You gotta go to the bathroom again? Girl, you haven't even showered. Like, that's whole wrong and nasty. How are you in the exam room with the patient and you got, and you smell like piss? That's nasty. All right. And take her temperature. We need to do all of the stuff. Right. And scan the body. And check the ears. It's almost time for her to get off of work. Spice Whistles in town. But we will not be visiting today. Check her eyes. And let's see, discuss general health with her as well. Kids can only go to the um, x-ray machine. They can't do the treadmill test. All right, good, 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 okay. Uh, ooh, she's got spots, let's see. Weak diagnosis though. Ooh, she's got spirals. It's best to, I don't know, like, yeah, my impatience is has caused her to diagnose patients wrong. So let's not. And let's go ahead and, oh, no, not light. Analyze patient sample, please, and thank you. All right, there we go. Oh, and Kai's lovely son, Ezra, has aged up to a child. Um, Of course, he aged up without me, and he's got an... An interesting trait that I'm not sure if I'm a keeper. Just go ahead and change myself. I might just leave it because honestly, I don't play that family as much. Like I go in for to create family members. Like I went in to create Ezra, but I didn't go in anything afterward. I made him over, but I made them over without actually necessarily going into the household because Kyra is the heir. I didn't want to linger and play and get too comfortable playing in any of her siblings' households. And in a matter of fact, I kind of need to set up relationships for her younger siblings at this point because Kai is now an adult. So that means these kids are aging up pretty quickly. Ooh, and we earned some money. <laughs> well, yeah, so they're aging up pretty quickly. I mean, I know they aged up to adults young adults was it last summer yeah at the end of last summer right before fall so i feel like at this point they're in their careers now so we probably should start setting up some relationships for them which i'll probably do off screen and which you guys may be able to get to see their partners on the screen anyway it is love day kyra needs to head home for her date with marcel after earning 1755 simoleons and one vacation day i will meet you guys on the date all right, guys, so here we are at the restaurant. Okay, let's go ahead and get this order right in because Marcel knows that Kyra is starving. Okay, uh, let's see. We're going to get some Cupid juice for the missus. Um, should I get him? I mean, it's love day. Let's go all out. <laughs> and Marcel is ready to propose to Kyra so hopefully all will go well he gonna make sure she gets some food in her system hmm that actually might work with well I think we wanna go wreck a lamb like yeah he trying to propose like he trying to go all out yes let's do this all right, and Isaiah is in the background with his family as his son destroys the restaurant floor. That, but that's none of Kyra's business. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and friendly ask him about his day. Um, of course, Miss Isla is off to daycare. I was going to actually drop her off by grandma, but I completely forgot. I was just like, Marcel was ready to go. He's like, let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I was like, what are y'all waiting on? Waiter is coming to take the order. Um, be enticing. Oh, okay. she placing the order. She's like, I got this. I'm hungry. Let me do this. <laughs> Compliments her appearance. Okay, hopefully our food will come out in a timely manner. And let's make sure we get these lovely date goals done. Okay, we need to tell our date a story. Uh, do do do. I'm looking for tell a funny story. Discuss t details of TV season premiere because yesterday was TV season premiere. I did it off screen because I feel like we've done that already in this OP. Certain holidays I kind of just passed through and then also we've kind of had back-to-back -back parts of constant holidays, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I didn't want that all this LP about was to... Uh, more choices. Uh, Tell a funny story. There we go. I didn't want this LB to be a, just a bunch of parts of different holidays, even though I did say I would be doing a little bit more off-screen playing to help progress some of the storylines, because after a certain point, we're kind of at a standstill right now, because, like, Kyra can't get married until she's an adult. Um, they are required to have one more child, but I'm not really rushing it, because... The current state of their funds and the current state of the house size is not the best right now to add a second child into this household. Uh, and I think Hyra was also like, look, Isla kind of came unexpectedly. So let's make sure we have the next one a little bit on a more planned timing. Um, compliments her outfit. We also need to have deep conversations and kiss our date. They are having a blast, aren't they? Have a deep conversation. Yes. Oh, I do want you guys to take pictures together. See, Marcel even made sure he took the day off. He was like, I got to be here for this. It is the day to spread the love around and let it be known around all of Sim World. Oh, and our food is here. Oh, and he needs to pee. He's got that nervous pee. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Then look at the bubbles. They're even heart little bubbles. Oh, that is cute. All right. Um, Marcel, since you are really not that hungry and you're kind of nervous, go ahead and use the bathroom, sir, while Kyra go ahead and chow down on some food. No, really, go use the bathroom because you're going to have an accident if you wait too much longer and you're about to drink some liquid. Yeah, go ahead and chat down, girl. Get that reclam in. What is the quality of that, anyway? <laughs> Normal. Mm, Y'all need to work on your chef skills. I could at least got an excellent. But let me see. Ooh, okay, go ahead. Swig it back, girl. Yes. Not that you really need the help to be flirty, because I feel like you are super flirty as it is. It is the love day. Uh-oh. It looks like um, Isaiah has reprimanded his son, taking him home. Like, I had enough of you. Ugh, thorn. So irritating. Into it. Where's Marcel? Hurry up. Hurry up and come on back, sir. He all super flirty. He got himself back and flirty. All right. Just get back before Kyra. F ooh. Ooh. The alcohol is kicking in. Ooh, making her a little nauseous. It's all right, girl. Just get the rack of lamb in. Granted, you probably should have eaten more of your food first before you drank all your juice. But, you know, do you, boo-boo. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> but get that rack of lamb in to soak up all that juice so you're not too drunk for the proposal that is about to happen. If he can bring his butt back. He is taking 20 years. He is so nervous. Come back already, sir. Let's see. Okay, we got some Izzy Fabulous. Uh oh. Okay, and a glitty, glitchy waiter. But it's cool. Ooh, Vanessa's here too? Are we not coming back to the table, sweetie? Like, please, eat rack of lamb and drink. Like, come on. I know you're nervous. But look, you are ready for this. You guys have been dating for years. You have a child together. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Bring your butt back down the stairs. This restaurant is really nice. I forgot I had this one. And I forgot that I had placed it in the world. I actually went out. That's why he lost the whim to um, get engaged to Kyra. Because I went out to make sure this restaurant specifically was placed in the world. 
not realizing that I had already put replaced it, placed it down. So it's a good thing. I must have planned ahead. Like, okay, this is going to be the perfect restaurant for them to get engaged in. Not knowing that Marcel was going to get the lovely whim to get engaged to Kyra the week of um, Love Day. Uh, let's also continue to do the date goals. Um, ooh, the deep conversation. Oh, he has that cheer up parent. Oh, they both probably have that though from the parenting scale. Uh, uh, let's see what else we need to do. Um, cheer up parent. Let's go ahead and make try to make her feel better. Like she has been having a bit of a rough time and, you know, try to make her feel better about herself. You're doing a good job at being a good mom to Isla, you know. Doing all of that good stuff. Okay, hurry up, girl. Boy, I mean, <laughs> get it down. I mean, excuse me, Octavia. I'm trying to look at my beautiful couple. Ain't nobody tell you to be walking across my screen. Rude much? Kyra is having a good time. She's not feeling uncomfortable anymore. Uh-oh. But that drunkness has got her feeling a little bit of blue. But it's all right. You are getting what you're what you're going to expect. Okay, um, blow a kiss to her. Let's amp up the flirtiness again. And ask a risque question. He is taking forever and I don't have time. <laughs> um, let's give her the love day gift that we got. Um, give romantic gift. We got her a rose, of course. I mean, why not? I know it's super cliche, but why not go all out? And them roses ain't cheap either. Wait, 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 no. <gasps> this is cute. Oh, this is so cute. I'm sorry. It's a lovely moment, and I haven't really been taking screenshots as much lately. So of course, for this lovely moment, we definitely need our lovely screenshots. Okay, all right. Okay, ooh, date is almost over too. I mean, not that she don't go anywhere, but uh, let's hurry this up and let's caress her cheek and oh, look, she loved it. Uh, compliment her appearance. Ah. <laughs> oh my goodness, the sound you guys make. Okay. And then let's go in for the kill. Oh, is she giving him one back? Go ahead and propose. Oh, that is so sweet of you, Kyra. I wanted you to give. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Kyra gave Marcel a gift along with a lovely message. My heart leaps when you are near. I love you more and more each and every day. Oh, that is super sweet. You guys are adorable. Who's getting in this conversation? Is he fabulous? I know they look good, but can you go away? This is about to be a private couple's moment. Okay, Marcel is proposing to Kyra. The music is letting me know that she's saying yes. At least I hope she is, because I'm going to be really embarrassed that I got super excited for no reason. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, Isla is upset. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a fix you, sweetie. <laughs> oh, but this is so cute. And she said yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. They're engaged. Oh, is she? Yes. <laughs> Yes, Kyra has been waiting for him to do this. Kiss under the mistletoe. She's been waiting forever, getting whims consistently for them to get married. But she was waiting for Marcel to do the honors. Can y'all give them a private moment? And give her a kiss. And he gained some fame from that. Ooh, look at their engaged legendary date. Oh, this is so adorable. Can y'all go away? Like, we all, I know that she's the granddaughter of Camden, not granddaughter, excuse me, the daughter, a strange daughter to be exact, of Camden Banks. But can y'all give her some private time? She's not part of the limelight. Are we not going to do any of the things I ask? Can we get out of the group conversation? Right. Stop talking to them. Right. <laughs> Oh, you guys are cute. Oh, I love you guys so much. Uh, romance. And 
let's see what else we gonna do what else what else embrace oh she is tired girl you all tomorrow it's gonna be okay <laughs> oh but i think we're going to take this back to the house i mean they could have a little fun fun they've had a busy toddler that's been keeping them away from having some private couples time so i think it is time for them to take this back to the house because they know we're on this lot for them to go woo so we're gonna take this back to oh can we get out of this pay for the bill so y'all can go on home <laughs> How does she not? Oh, right. So we can definitely need to complete her goals for her love day because she definitely loves all the traditions. Let's head on home. I know that alcohol is, is reacting to your stomach, girls. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to meet you guys back at home. All right, guys. So we are home. Marcel is tucking in lovely little Isla. Okay, Kyra, you done dirtied up the toilet. Um... <laughs> compliments her appearance love day is over though but i mean that doesn't mean they don't they haven't gone to bed yet so it's not technically over for them <laughs> oh them being cute can we not have a discussion in the bathroom chat here like especially around the dirty toilet ew right let's bring it out y'all are super cute matching and stuff okay let's actually take some cute little um, take a photo with the cutie, the fiance, excuse me, Kyra Banks. Oh, uh, and this will eventually no longer be Banks family. <laughs> what is y'all doing? Is she going to bed? No, I was about to say, like, we are not done. <laughs> Let's take some cute photos together. Oh, but never mind. I was going to take my own, but y'all too. <laughs> Her eyes, she's got bags on her eyes. They both kind of, no, he's more so flirty. She's got bags. It's all right. She's had a long day at the hospital. But girl, you got the ring that you wanted. There we go. <laughs> and let's take some cute little selfies. All right. Good job, guys. <laughs> you had a awesome love day. And let's before because homegirl is tired before she slits off and ask her a risque question and then go have a little fun woohoo with Kyra yeah what's that handcuffs boy watch yourself <laughs> fresh can we Kyra he's trying to get you to the bed Just, you, you gotta stop trying to sit on it <laughs> Well, oh my gosh, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this exciting part of Love on the Brain right here. I'm so happy that Marcel and Kyra are finally engaged. Wedding bells are in the future for this lovely couple, and I can't wait for it. So if you enjoyed this a part of Love on the Brain, please go ahead and leave your comments and suggestions down below. Excuse me. Hit that like button because you know you want to. Subscribe if you haven't. And hit that bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video. And until next time, guys, bye.